Hi everybody, Timmy MX here and today I want to show you a quick tip to achieve deeper and more cinematic colors in your footage by controlling the luminosity of the colors using the RGB mixer. As always, before we start, make sure you have finished your color correction. First step, add a serial node, then add a layer node. Right click the layer mixer node and change the composite mode to luminosity. Now the button node references to the top node only via the luminosity. That means we are able to control the luminescence of the colors by using the bottom layer. Let me show you how in a second step. Select the button node and go to the RGB mixer panel. Then turn on the monochrome mode and now the luminosity values of the top node are referenced from the button node by the black and white values. So in order of that, we are able to control the luminosity of the top node by changing the corresponding RGB values on the bottom node. Let me show you how it works. All you have to do is to increase or decrease the R, G or B value using the sliders in the RGB mixer panel. For example, if I decrease the red slider, the luminosity of the red color in the upper node is affected. With this technique, you can achieve deeper and more popping colors just by changing the luminosity of the corresponding color. But as always, don't go too far. Try to keep your look realistic. If it's done correctly, you can achieve much deeper skin tones, for example. And that's the best part of this technique, in my opinion. Just play around with the R, G and B sliders. Another additional tip. If you change the custom curve of the bottom node on the top control point by sliding the, to the left, you can change the tonality amount only using the luminescence so you can control it much more subtle while keeping the highlights roll off stable at the same time. Just try out changing a curve, then you will see what I mean. One last note, I recommend to apply this layer node as one of the last steps in your color grading node tree, but before adding grain, if you are using grain in your grading. I hope I could show you an interesting way to achieve much deeper colors in your footage. And if you like this little quick tip and want to see more like this, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We all a great time. Bye.